Are you sure you want me to leave you here? Why? Is there something wrong? Well, there's some talk that this house is haunted. Oh, stop that nonsense. Only ignorant people believe that foolishness. Now, don't let that driver frighten you into seeing ghosts. See if I can find Mrs. Warren. Please don't take too long. I frightened you, miss. Lisa, what's the matter? Mother, we've got to get out of this house. I know it's haunted. Oh, come now, Lisa. What you need now is a good night's rest. Besides, we've no other place to go. Come. Let me take you to your room. My poor brother. What a shock to learn that he died only two months ago in that that horrible place. <laughs> there is another bedroom next to this one. Oh. No, Mother, please stay with me tonight. As you wish, madam. I do wish that we could leave tomorrow. 
You will feel better after Paul and Regina arrive. As you know, they've also been invited here. Rebecca, darling, do you remember this? They're just as beautiful as the first day we met. You haven't changed, my darling. Remember when I painted the portrait? We were so happy then. You were going to be married. Remember? Well, what happened to us, Rebecca? What happened? I wanted you. Just like I want you now. Darling, I want to feel you next to me. I want you. As it's meant to be. Because of you, why'd you have to come here? My darling, I can't thank you enough for concealing me in your house. You saved my life. Perhaps that is the reason the oval portrait is my greatest work. It is full of all my love for you, all my gratitude. 
This war won't last forever, and soon we'll be together again. Love, Joseph. <laughs> hasn't changed. It looks the same as it did the first time I saw it. Ah, Rebecca. How beautiful she was. It almost seems to be alive. Yes. You can almost see her breathing. Her eyes. You can feel them watching. Every moment you're in this room. Uh, my daughter Lisa, Captain Johnson. My pleasure, miss. Excuse me. Miss Buckingham, a letter just arrived for you. You. How dare you come here? Get out. Get out of this house. Yes. I think it would be better I go. I hope the relationship I had with your brother can continue with the two of you. Madam? Please, Mrs. Warren, how can you act like that? I'm sorry. You should be more than sorry. You may have had this house pretty much to yourself while my brother was in that, that hospital. But may I remind you that you were still only a hired servant? I hope you will remember your place in the future. Please forgive my mother, Mrs. Warren. Lisa, come here, darling. What is it, Mother? It's Regina and Paul. They won't be able to be here tomorrow. It'll be another week before they can be here. That woman is being intolerable. We'll go to my room where we can have some privacy. Really, I find all this quite impossible. That woman, your foolishness about ghosts. Lisa, you're not listening to a word I'm saying. This dress must have been hers. Anybody home? Oh, Dory oh, Mullen, you silly thing, scared of your own reflection. Not. What a stupid question. Well, I heard this place was haunted. What are you doing here? How did you get in? Well, the door was open. I'm the new cook. This place isn't really haunted, is it? Of course not. I've never seen a ghost myself. But if I saw one, I swear... 
I'd just die on the spot. Oh, that's nonsense. There are no such things as ghosts, except in the minds of superstitious people. Now, come along. The servants' quarters are this way. This way, please. Mrs. Warren is in charge here. I suppose she has a room ready for you. You were expected today, weren't you? Yes, ma'am. I sure was expected. Come back. I've been waiting for you. No, you're mistaken. I'm not Rebecca. Who are you? Oh. How dare you wear these clothes? Oh, oh no. Joseph, he tried to kill me. That dress? What are you doing in that dress? It belonged to Miss Rebecca. I found it upstairs. And Joseph saw you in it. I must ask you, Miss Lisa, never to wear anything of hers. But why? Well, you must understand. For those of us who loved her, they bring back memories, tragic memories. I understand. I loved once. We were going to be married. He went off to war. He was reported missing. I still can't believe that he'll never come back. Even after all these years, I keep hoping I must go to my room. Buckingham and her daughter, the other niece and her husband, will be delayed. Uh, mm -hmm. Mrs. Warren, who is it? It's Mr. Ashcroft, your brother's attorney. Oh, Mrs. Buckingham. Oh, my dear Mr. Ashcroft. I understand that your niece, Mrs. Crenshaw, must be delayed. Yes, she won't be here for another week. Uh, Mrs. Warren, perhaps you will bring the tea while Mr. Ashcroft and I talk in the parlor. So I would rather... Yes, madam. Lisa, what happened? Lisa, are you all right? Darling, what happened? Say something. Please, Mother. I'm quite all right. Oh, uh, this is Mr. Ashcroft, your uncle's attorney. Would you like me to send a doctor when I return to town? The doctor can't help her. The only thing you can do for her is to take her away from this house. 
Please. The poor darling is simply exhausted. Please, Mrs. Warren. Would you help me go to my room? Oh, she's uh, under tension from all this foolish talk about Rebecca. Since we've been in this house, she's spent hours staring at that fortress. I sometimes think there's something evil in this house. This house has quite a story to it, Mrs. Buckingham. I would keep an open mind. I have a feeling that I'm going to die very soon. Don't talk like that. Now, you must listen to me, Miss Lisa. You must leave this house tonight. But I'm beginning to understand everything about this house. As if I'm part of it. And it wants me to stay. Don't you understand? It's Miss Rebecca who wants you to stay. She must possess you before she will ever rest in peace. Mrs. Warren, how did they meet? It was the war. the house. Madam, I must ask you to assemble all the people in the house. First, Captain, I suggest you tell me what this is all about. We're searching for an enemy soldier. We followed him in this direction. He must be found. I understand your duty, Captain. I can assure you there's no one hiding here. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Major Alexander Huntington. Major Huntington, I uh, didn't know. I'm sorry, sir. I would be carrying out my duty, Captain. That won't be necessary, Major. Major Huntington, my apologies. I hope the catcher. Imagine an enemy soldier hiding in my house. 
That will be all, Mrs. Warren. You may retire. Good night, sir. You're coming, Rebecca? In a moment, Father. The excitement and everything. I think I'll find something to read until I can get back to sleep. All right, darling. I'll see you in the morning. some bandages. already lost a lot of blood. Even if we can save him, he'll have to rest for a few days. But where can we hide him? I don't know. I suppose we can put him in my room. That's about the only place in the house your father doesn't go. to be thinking of parties when a war is going on and many good men are dying. Parties. Fops who buy their way out of the army. Instead of holding guns and sabers, they want to hold girls. Especially my beautiful daughter. But, Father, I'd love to go. I know almost no one my own age. All I know of life and love what I found in the books I've read. Books? What kind of books? My mother's. Your mother. You'll always be proud of your mother, won't you? Well, I'm going to tell you something. Your mother was no better than a whore. She had to run away with the first man who came along. Oh, yes, that's the truth about your hallowed mother. But you don't want to hear the truth, do you? You just want to hear about love and the rest of the trash from books that filled your mother's head. I bet you keep you from ending up like your mother. I swear to God, if I ever find you with a man, I'll kill him. And I'll throw you out of this house. You'll end up no better than the worthless tramp you call your mother. Father. <laughs> Don't cry, Rebecca. Your mother was a wonderful woman. And you should always be proud of her. She married your father full of hopes and illusions. But he was a jealous and possessive man. He loved her too much. It became an evil, ugly thing. That's why she left. Yes. She was so hungry for real love. 
She finally found it with another man. He was poor, but oh, they were in love. And when she was sick and dying, she, she came to see her father. But he could not forgive her. You're not a little girl anymore. You can't find real love in books. You have to search for it in life. When your mother died, I promised her that I would take care of you. I will do the impossible for your happiness. Thank you, Miss Thank you. So the fugitive escaped. We found his horse not far from here. There was blood on the saddle, so I doubt he could have gotten very far without it. Did you search every house? Yes, sir. My men and I covered the entire area. That is to say, with one exception. Good evening, Captain. Father? Yes, Rebecca. I came to apologize for what happened this afternoon, Father. <clears throat> Your apology is well received, my daughter. You must forgive me, Major, Miss Huntington. I must take my leave. We will see you tomorrow. Miss Huntington? Yes, of course, I'll see you to the door. I'm Mrs. Warren. Uh, as I remember you, you helped fix my wound. I brought you some food. Oh, no, thank you. I'm not hungry. But you must eat if you want to regain your strength. Where did you get that medal? Oh, my real mother gave it to me when I was a baby. I didn't really know her. Mrs. Warren, come in. I brought these clothes for him. They belong to my father. I do hope they fit you. You're the girl who helped me? Yes. I'm very grateful, Miss... Rebecca. Just call me Rebecca. Rebecca, I'm Joseph Hudson. I'm pleased to meet you. Hudson was just about to eat. Would you care to have some tea with us, Rebecca? Yes. I'd like that very much. Thank you, Mrs. Warren. I'll get you a cup. I'll be right back. I thought I heard someone. Excuse me, Mrs. Warren. I've taken the liberty to come to your room because I want you to know that I'm leaving to join my regiment tomorrow. Would you be good enough to see that everything is ready? Well, of course, yes, Major. 
By the way, here's a letter for you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Major. Thank you. asked me to accompany him to the station. I'll be back shortly. Rebecca, the time has come for me to return to my troops. I may be longer than I expected, but you will be well taken care of while I'm gone. My bank will provide you with enough money for all your necessities. Let's go, Mrs. Warren. Write to me often. I want to know everything that's happening with my daughter. Has he left the house yet? Yes. He's gone. I must leave, too. No, Joseph. You must wait. They are still searching the area for you. I must get back to my troops. And get killed? Rebecca, you're a good woman. But there's nothing I can give you in return. Except what I feel inside. Maybe that is more than enough. allow ourselves to. Well, there's father and... Rebecca. Oh, Joseph. Oh, Joseph. Please love me. Each time we meet, your life is in danger. It's a risk I'm more than willing to take for one day of what we have. Hold me. Please hold me. What's the matter, darling? I feel that someday, very soon... I'll never leave you, Rebecca. Never. If you do, I will be here, waiting. Waiting for you, forever.
much about what your father says. He can't plan your life for you. All right, Joseph. I will do as you wish. Mrs. Warren? I'm going to get married. Mr. Joseph Hudson. Yes. Do you love him? Oh, yes. More than my life. So, there's nothing to worry about. I will take care of everything. It will have to be a very private wedding. Don't you worry at all, Miss Rebecca. I will make the wedding dress myself. I have a priest who has been a friend of the family for years. And I will be your witness. So don't worry at all. My child. My child. Yes. What did you do before you became a soldier? I was a painter. Well, when this is all over, the fighting, I mean, are you planning to go back to your painting? Rebecca, I would like to paint you. Joseph, I would love that. Your portrait will be ready tomorrow. Then you'll have your wish. We'll call it the... Uh, the Oval Portrait. Rebecca, you take Joseph here present. For your beloved husband according to the rites of our Holy Mother Church. Joseph, you take Rebecca here present. For your beloved wife. According to the right... Optus Marion. You're under arrest. We didn't suspect he would have hidden in your house. We've been searching for him for three months. Take him to the carriage. Don't worry, Rebecca. I'll be back. What will they do to him? It's not for me to say, ma'am. Thank you, Father, for assisting in his capture. Traitor! Traitor to God! I hope you rot in hell for what you've done. You told me you were his friend.
Good to be home at last. Major, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm so glad you're home, sir. What a beautiful painting of Rebecca. Seems so real. Who painted it? Uh, someone that passed by. I, I thought it would be wonderful to surprise you with the portrait of your daughter. See who's at the door, please. Good evening, madam. Is the Major home? No. No, he hasn't arrived yet. Who's at the door, Mrs. Warren? Miss Mr. Johnson. Don't tell the Major anything of what happened. I beg of you. I must see the Major. Glad to see you again, Captain Johnson. How do you like the portrait? The artist must have taken many hours to paint such a beautiful portrait of your daughter. Welcome home, Major. I'm glad the war is over. Yes, and I'm glad to be home. Well, Major, it was a pleasure seeing you. I'm sorry my visit must be so short, but I have friends waiting outside. By the way, the soldier we were looking for was found. Oh, where? You should ask your daughter who painted that marvelous portrait. You'll be surprised. That's all. That's why I hired him. A man. A man who was with my daughter for days. Weeks. That's the way you took care of her? Well, she must know who painted the picture. Please, Major. Don't disturb her. She's very ill. Sick, eh? Oh, I'm so glad you came. I have so much to tell you. I imagine you do. Like who painted that portrait of you? She had nothing to do with it. I've already told you. You've already told me a lie. I want to hear the truth. You've always covered for Rebecca, Mrs. Warren, but no more. Who did that painting, Rebecca? Soldier, father. Not just a soldier, an enemy soldier. Father, I'm very ill. Please, can't you see? She's in no condition to talk now. Get out, Mrs. Warren. It's not your affair. What's that? He wasn't only a painter. He was your lover. No, no. You poor. No. Just put your mouth. No. You've disgraced me just like a mother. I warned you. Get out of this house. No, no father. No. No, father, please. No, father, please. I understand. No, no, Oh, no. 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 No.
door and I'll shoot you. He'll have to go to a hospital. He doesn't see, hear, or feel anything. His mind is paralyzed, perhaps forever. Well, as you wish, Doctor. I'll make the arrangements today. He can be committed immediately. Thank you, Dr. Nelson. Now I better take a look at my other patient. so you can see him. You're lying. He's dead. He killed him. Oh, God, how I hate my father. No, Rebecca. <laughs> Try to calm down. You must forget your hatred. I'll never forget what my father did to me or my baby. Just like I'll never forget the love Joseph gave to me. <laughs> Here, this will help you rest. <laughs> Aren't you going to let me in? Joseph. Isn't Rebecca here? Please, follow me.
Rebecca. These years haven't changed Joseph. His love for Rebecca grows stronger every day. He really believes that Rebecca, waiting for him in this house, Any idea why she's behaving this way? Well, she won't come out of her room when anyone's around. I checked her room once, and she wasn't there. So, I guess the idea of Rebecca's ghost doesn't trouble her anymore. Rebecca's ghost? What is this all about? Oh, some foolishness about Rebecca's portrait. spends hours staring at it. So this was Rebecca. You know, I didn't realize that Lisa resembled her so. Oh, well, that's strange. I hadn't noticed it. Oh, Regina, I hope you can persuade Lisa to leave that room. I really feel she should be there when the attorney reads the will. Well, of course. I'm sure Lisa will listen to me. Lisa? Lisa, open up, it's Regina. 
Thanks for answering. You. Are you all right? I'm all right. I just... I'm all right. I just... don't want to talk to anyone now. All right. First you have to promise you'll come downstairs when the will is read. I promise. This shouldn't take long. The Major left few heirs, so the will is rather brief. That is not the last will he left. He made a new will the morning after he drove Rebecca out of the house. Dr. Nelson, may his soul rest in peace, signed as witness. He put the new will in the safety box. Can you show me where the new will is? Of course. I think I may even have the key here someplace. Things have worked out wonderfully. Mrs. Warren gets the house and we divide the balance of the estate. I was afraid as his sister I'd be left with this awful house. me, Lisa. Lisa, darling, have you been ill? No, I'm quite all right. Oh, God. I should have sent you away from this house when Mrs. Warren told me. I'll start the packing. We're leaving immediately. No, I won't go. I'm part of this house now. No, I can't leave. I won't leave. Doris? Doris? Doris, I want you to come upstairs with me and pack Miss Lisa's things. She's leaving tonight. Yes, madam. Joe! 
Joseph! Joseph, are you in there? Joseph, where are you? Remember the first time you leaned against my body and I felt your so warmth, oh, Joseph. And when my father left and we were alone together, oh, how I hated him. Oh, Joseph, Joseph. Try to forget everything that's happened in this house. Take good care of Miss Lisa. I will, Mrs. Warren. I will. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, Mrs. Warren. Goodbye, my love. Goodbye forever. Let us hear from you, Mrs. Warren. And someday, perhaps, we might return to see you. This is your house. Whenever you want to stop by. Thank you, Mrs. Warren. Goodbye. Goodbye. Remember? We never, never danced our song.
Oh, Rebecca, darling. Rebecca, I'm so close to you. Oh. Take you away from me. Don't leave me. Take me with you. Take me with you. Rebecca! Arrest this man. No, you don't. this time. You are under arrest. Rebecca. Joseph. Rebecca! Joseph. I did everything for you. I even forged the will so we could have this house. Poor Joseph, you are mad. I give you up once. Because I wasn't married, I didn't want to disgrace you. I meant to give you happiness. But now, I'm sorry. I I'm sorry, my son. But this world is not for you.
Joseph. I've waited for you so long. Becca, at last we're together forever.